everybody, happy Thursday. And today I am going to answer a question that I hear all the time over and over. And I actually have like three of them. I even wrote some down in my agenda. Do you guys even know what that is? I think that makes me sound old, but I like some pen and paper writing things down. And I have some questions on my computer. And the overall arcing question slash message that I want to get to is, am I sick enough? This question says, can you do a video on not feeling sick enough or doubting that you have mental illness at all, even when you've been diagnosed with one? I have a question about, um, do you even have an eating disorder? What if you're of a normal weight? What if you're overweight? What if a doctor tells you that your PTSD isn't bad enough, that your eating disorder isn't bad enough? What if you hear messages from professionals that are simply just hurtful and invalidating? So let's get to it. Um, the truth of it is, is there's a great video I actually did a long time ago with Emma Wicks. I'll put it here where she talks about, it's probably like halfway through the video. Um, if I can have it start at that point, I'll do that where you click. It'll take you right to that synopsis that I'm talking about. But she talks about having to scream to get help for a while. And this is with regard to emotional abuse and having asked for help, not get anything, having asked again, not get anything, having asked and someone be like, oh, it's not so bad. So she talks about how she had to keep doing that in order to get the help that she needed. And unfortunately, sometimes we have to shout to be heard. And that doesn't mean that you're not sick enough. I'll put this in perspective by talking about, <clears throat> whoa, <clears throat> but I'll put this in perspective by talking about professionals in general. Let's talk about people who have jobs in general. Some people just suck at their jobs, right? You may have an amazing waiter at one place and a terrible waiter at another place. You may have a wonderful postman who is early and doesn't crunch your packages and then you can have a really shitty one when you move where everything is like smooshed, like mine. Um, so everybody is different at their job and it depends on if they love their job, depends on how well they manage their own shit, if they're taking care of themselves, if they're burning out. It can if they even feel fulfilled by the work that they're doing, it can, there's a lot of factors that need to be taken into consideration. And I just say that so that you don't take one professional's word to mean everything. Even mine, you should talk with your therapist. You should see a professional. I'm always urging you to do that to make sure that you're getting the help that you really need. Cause I'm not going to know all the information about you that someone who sees you in person could. And with regard to the worry of whether or not we feel sick enough, if we are sick enough, if you are watching this video, if you struggle daily, most days are bothered by depress depressive thoughts, PTSD symptoms, eating disorder thoughts, whether it's overeating, undereating, it doesn't matter what you weigh, you can still have an eating disorder. If you have any of those things going on, most more days than not, you are sick enough. Trust me. We don't need to wait until people are on their on death's doorstep or wanting to commit suicide or uh, having so many flashbacks that you know they have an accident in their car or, or something, right? We don't have to wait to that to get to that point before we actually get help. And just keep in mind what Emma had said in that video. Um, sometimes we have to be sh shout to be heard, but that doesn't mean that we don't deserve to be heard, and that doesn't mean that our problems aren't real and aren't a problem. It just means you may have come across one slew of many professionals who either is an asshole hates their job, is overworked and underpaid, didn't even read your chart. There could be all sorts of different factors taken into consideration. Maybe they just got in a fight with someone. We're human too. And so I just want to say that. I just want to be honest about the fact that professionals are humans too. And if one tells you something, you don't have to believe them. Even if two, I would encourage you if you have the ability to see other people, to get second opinions, to talk to them about what's going on because yes, you were sick enough. Yes, you deserve to get help. I mean, let's be honest. I see my therapist still off and on. I'll take some breaks and then I'll see her regularly depending on how stressed out I feel. But that's really why I see her. I There's no like quote unquote big issue, but I still feel like if you want to call it that sick enough to get help. I still need someone to talk to. I don't need to be like maxed out, uh, struggling at work, not being a good therapist to my clients to know that. So don't, don't compare. I think that's the message. Um, because everyone's different. If it's bothering you, then it's enough to get help. And that would be like, make a GIF. If it's bothering you, 
It's enough to get help because I know that we compare ourselves to everybody. That's just human nature. I know the professionals will do that. I know that you'll find, you'll run into shitty professionals. Um, and I just don't want you to take anyone's word or anyone else's experience and compare it to your own or take on what they say and believe it because you know you, you know how you feel and that if you're struggling, you deserve to get help. End of discussion. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And if you like this kind of a video, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, and I will see you all on Monday and hope to see you all at VidCon. I have posted the events across my social media so you know where my panels are and when my panels are. And I also have like an official meet and greet because we're fancy now, you know? So there's a time where you can come and meet and greet with me. I can sign things that you want. We can take pictures. We can have a good hug. We can do all of those wonderful things. So. I hope to see as many of you who can come there. Um, I, I've heard from lots of you that you're going to be there, and I just can't wait. And I'll put the link to the VidCon website to buy tickets below. Um, and check out my Facebook page for the events, and I'll see you later. Bye!